The 5-Minute Boot Camp Number 6 Tips for Artists to Get Better at Their Art by Doris Charest The Art Diet Art can help you lose weight. I bet you didn't know this. However, it is well known to an artist. Contrary to popular belief, it is not because artists need to starve for their art or that artists cannot afford to eat. Both theories are false. Eating. Artists love to eat and they love to eat quality food. Many artists are good cooks because cooking is also a creative act. A sprinkle of this and a pinch of that attracts artists because it is flexible and allows creative touches. When you eat, one artist said, you may as well eat well. Eat good food and take the time to cook a meal so that it tastes good. So where does art come into the dieting field? When you're busy creating art, you lose track of time. Your mind is so focused on creating your artwork that it forgets everything else that is going on around you. Hours go by and you don't even know it. Eating becomes less important. Meals. When you are busy with your art, you forget to eat. This means you consume less calories in a day. Gone is the snack you usually have in the afternoon or before bed. You look at the clock and realize it's already midnight. You have to get to bed so that you are on time for your meeting with a client. You are so busy with your art that you don't have time to eat a lot. You have gallery owners to meet. You have commissions to complete. You have meetings with your art group to hurry to. You have one final varnish to put on before you make supper. Once you are home and it is time to make supper, you think only about how you can get supper going while sending out your latest application for a show. You simplify meals. You use appliances like crockpots to give you more time for art. Before you got into art, you learned what spices you needed to make food taste good and what tips there were to make food taste good as well. You use those tips, but you simplify even more. A chicken breast that you sautéed then added a cream sauce in 10 different steps gets pared down to 3 steps. It still tastes good. Julia Child must have had a lot of time. You can get her recipes done in less than half the time. All thanks to art making. You eat well, meals taste good, and this is important. But you eventually realize that you are eating less per meal. You don't have the two hours you used to have to eat supper. Your time is down to less than an hour. And that includes a chat with your spouse. You have an idea you want to sketch before you forget it. Wine with your meal? Yes, but a small glass. You discover that alcohol interferes with your art making the next day. You decide to cut back on wine. You consume less calories. Wine has a lot of calories. This is more healthy and certainly cheaper. Exercise. Exercise gets included in your routine like before, but in a different way. You have learned that walking gives you time to think and problem solve. You end up going for walks more often. Walking is also a way for you to chat with other artists. They, like you, want to be in the studio. Walking with a buddy gives you time to chat and get exercise. By the end of the week, your 10,000 steps per day is way over. All this is thanks to making art. Art making is a great way to lose weight. You are eating less and exercising more. The health benefits speak for themselves. What more can I say? Conclusion. Do artwork you enjoy and have fun. Thank you for joining me in this series. Look for my courses on udemy.com. And I have several there. Starting an art business is my latest one. Find my work at www.dorischarest.ca. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.